good news, I have five butterflies today. I cannot even imagine these kids' bedrooms. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay! Yay! Good morning. It is, what is today, Thursday? Yes. And we're at school. We just got here and went 7.15, so we're doing good today. And it's yes. supposed to be 85 degrees outside, so Paisley's I in. I said 82. Shorts and a tank top, and I'm wearing a dress. Oh, and I have flip-flops. With my super white legs. So, um, we have a lot going on today. Yes, tell the most exciting part. Paisley is in a program, and. and oh, let me say, I dance, I get to dance, and I have a speaking part and a side part. Do you know your speaking part? Not all of it. Not all of it. But she's going to be performing for the school. Her, Wait. her grade level is going to be performing for the school. And then at 6 o'clock tonight, she will be performing again for all of the parents. So I'm oh. going to stay at school till then um, and just work on some things. That'll give me three hours or so to really get off the desk <laughs> three hours or so to get some things done and plan and copy and maybe even get ready for next week wait can i tell them something <laughs> i know half of my speaking i mean part of my speaking part is the beginning um it's we read to learn that plants and animals have needs they need air water light space food and shelter all of these may be found in their environment and then my friend says something else. And then, is that all? No, I can't remember the rest. Wait, can I? We straightened her hair this morning. Yes. With a straightener. I tried this side. Look at how my hair is cut. We didn't cut it like that, but it's still slanted. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm gonna go put my lunch in the refrigerator and I have some papers in my bag that I took home last night and did not grade. So I'm going to grade those real quick and Paisley's gonna go get some breakfast. I need to make some copies of a book for my independent group today and work on my newsletter. So I'm gonna do that and I'll catch you guys later. Are anyone else's students like super messy? Look at this. Okay, this is one student's desk. She's got a jacket, a pencil pouch, and a hair bow on the floor. And then this one over here has a bookmark, her breakfast wrapper, and her jacket. And there's a book basket out. There's a jacket under there. Oh, a Ziploc bag and a crayon. I cannot even imagine these kids' bedrooms. Uh, my kids are at lunch. We haven't had a pretty good productive morning. However, this morning we did our rotations and I checked out our iPad cart from the library because I was going to let my independent group go on to get Epic and read on the iPads this morning. But for some reason, I could not get into Epic. They don't have the app. Well, Epic has an app, but the iPads don't have the Epic app. So I was just gonna go through Safari and go straight to the website and it wouldn't let me do it. So I don't know why, but I just let them do extra math instead. And then we had our small groups and my small group, we talked about cause and effect and they're reading a book called Diabetes and Me. It's actually a book that I printed off of reading A to Z. And it's got a lot of you know, nonfiction information that my kids are not familiar with. So I think it's really good that they're learning about it. And we did cause and effect. That went okay. I only had one girl get finished out of five, no six. And then all of my class came back and now they are playing a game, like a concentration memory game with words that are spelled the same but have different meanings and maybe pronounce the same or pronounce differently like this. So they have all these word cards and they have to find a match. And she found lead and lead 
And so she had to use them in a sentence. I led the line to lunch and I not led, yeah. I will lead the line to lunch and I have lead in my pencil and then bear and bear like the animal and I can't bear to look at it. And so they're playing memory with that. We only had about 10 minutes to play so I told them just to leave their game out and when they get back we'll clean up. And good news, I have five butterflies today. So I'll show you our butterflies. We're gonna let them go. Um, but there's one right there and there's one back there and right there see he's learning how to use his wings it's so cool and then there's one up here and is that five so there's two three uh one over there on the lid and then that one up there so my kids are so excited about it and I don't know if you guys know, but whenever they come out of their chrysalis, they have this red liquid. It looks like blood, but you can see it back there on the lid too. So I don't really know what it is. I've read about it before, but I, ha I can't remember what it is. It's just, it's not blood. It's just some kind of liquid that comes out whenever they come out of their chrysalis. So when they get back from lunch, we're going to do one last observation where they can draw all five butterflies and then we're gonna go outside and let them go. So, it's really fun to let them go, but it's kind of sad because they're gone. But yeah, I have brought my lunch. I've got 15 minutes to eat, so I'm gonna go eat real quick and I'll catch up with you guys when my kids get back from lunch. I will take you guys outside with us so you can watch our butterflies when we let them go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Yay! Yay! Bye, butterflies. Come on, another one. Come on. That's so weird. Ooh, back up. Everybody's so excited about one butterfly. Oh, oh, oh. Yay! Yay! That one's eating right now. Well, he needs to get. Go, 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 go. You can find some milkweed. Go and find some milkweed. Go, go and find some milkweed, something better. You can put it on a oh, just careful. Whoa, look at its eyes. Ooh, it's a oh, butterfly is not moving. It's Kylie. How many are left? Two. Two. Oh, look, he's out. Oh, my God. Oh, Hey y'all, so I'm home. I actually had a very long day after school. It is 7.35 and I'm about to eat me some dinner. This is what I'm having. I just made a tuna sandwich with some carrots and snow peas with ranch dressing. But I had a faculty meeting after school today that lasted an hour and a half. And then I had a conference that lasted 45 minutes. So I had about 30 minutes or so before I had to go into the auditorium for Paisley's performance um, this evening. And then as soon as that was over, I left and came home. So I just wanted to jump on here and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos from me in the future. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!